Hello my lovelies, good morning. Hope you're all well. Well we're down on the beach, morning after the storm. I hope you all got through it all right. The sea's still a little bit rough. And there's a good breeze. But it's warm. It's really nice and warm. No one in sight. The cafes haven't opened. So nobody seems to want to venture out just yet, except me and Jess. So we thought we'd give you another energy updates for this tail end of July. And this storm seems to have come at a very good time. Some of you might not agree, but there's been such a huge build up of energies throughout July and intensity and like a gathering of energies all being squished into a bottle and the cork put on top and then it was shaken up So anything to do with water, the ocean, lakes, rivers, brooks, tears, all to do with our emotions, but also our intuition. So some of you may have been feeling that stuff has got bottled up bottled up inside of you throughout July this cancer energy and being shaken up shaken not stirred and so it was released yesterday with the storm it actually came in quite slowly quite gently we saw the clouds gathering and getting darker. And here on the beach, everyone vanished. As soon as it started to rain, they just vanished. But it didn't last long. And then it returned during the night. So usually when we're sleeping, our nighttime slumbers is when we can release things more easily, when we can have information come to us, where we can go off on our journeys to other lands, other dimensions, where we go to learn or where we go to teach. So it seems to me this storm has been very timely, very needed. It's an expression of release, relief, a letting go, a surrender of all of those things that have been bottled up and we've been hanging on to, but that have needed to shift, that have needed to be let go of. And then we look at the aftermath. And here it's not too bad. Some of the deck chairs have fallen over, but most of them are still standing. I see out in the distance there beyond the headland. 
it's getting dark again dark storm clouds so we may have another another go at it another rush of releasing energies And if you, can, if you feel like it and, and it's safe to do so, go outside and witness this Mother Nature's cure in a way. <clears throat> How she comes along and says, things have, have to change, they cannot stay the same. You've held on too long to all of this deep, heavy gloomy emotion and as we head into August on Thursday August the 1st there's a magnificent new moon a new moon in Leo so we watch how the weather goes over the next few days oh the wind's whipping up again I can feel it He's getting a little bit rougher. So I know for me it's been a, a time of withdrawal, a time of resting, recuperation, restoration. And then this final letting go. And I think we need to leave it there because it's getting really rough now. And um, I hope you are able to let the stopper out, let the cork out. Let it all go. And we start afresh as we move into August. So if I can get out of this deck chair, <laughs> whoop, one, two, three, that's it, there we are, Woo. there we are, whoa. It is magnificent, it's rough and it's raw and it's, uh, hold, nothing holds back, no, not, no holding back, that's it feeling I'm getting no holding back now as we move on we move forward and embrace this lovely <laughs> little fella there lovely exhilarating energies there's a few <laughs> stalwart brockles as we call them so I love you and leave you I hope you can, hope you can hear me. <laughs> uh, so until next time, lots of love. Thanks for watching. Bye.